I noticed that we were alone, of course, because the 105, the only thing we could see was them disappearing in the distance, heading south. So that, thereabout came that expression, first in, last out. Had nothing to do with anything amounting to a great amount of courage, it just was that we didn't have enough uh, ghost up in our airplane to, to keep up with the 105. Another problem had to do with the weasel's ordnance load. They just couldn't carry as much as the F-105s. While both carried 20 millimeter rounds and rockets, the 105s also carried conventional bombs. Also, to destroy the targets with their particular payload, the weasels had to head straight into the SAM site at an extremely low altitude. This put the airmen well within range of anti-aircraft and even small arms fire. In March of 66, the danger became a reality. A second weasel crew was down, and both men killed when their plane was struck from below. The loss served as a lesson to test new ordnance configurations. Cluster bomb units proved to be among the most promising for suppressing anti-aircraft fire and triggering explosions in the missiles. Each bomblet detonated just above the ground, sending thousands of steel pellets throughout the site. In addition